playing uh -huh. playing with Kang and Leona McGuire is Stanford Cardinal Lauren Kim, a superstar collegiately struggling to find her footing on the LPGA Tour, but not struggling. Lauren Kim opened with a bogey, but... Yeah, she's responded nicely. I mean, first time really in this position. She's excited. She has her family out watching her this week, so feels comfortable around this golf course. And, and I've been impressed the way she's handled the pressure so far today. Should roll that in for birdie. It is that, Tom. This playing downwind today, so some of the longer players will be able to get there in two. I think Lauren's going to struggle to get there in two, but it's a nice drive down the fairway. Good golf swing. Very solid looking. Yeah, you wonder, you know, where all the struggles have come from with a swing like that. Yeah, had a nice layup. This is 75 yards. Again, does play uphill, but it is downwind. Playing from so far below the green surface, you will expect a little bounce. That's a good shot there. It's going to come back a little bit. Well, it all went horribly wrong from the tee shot, just left and then right. Oh dear. They were told they were on the clock when they were finishing the ninth hole, and she tugged her tee shot left and pays the price. She's pretty much played very quickly up until this putt. It was much slower getting over this putt. There you go. She, she slowed things down. That was a really good looking stroke right there. Everything she possibly could to walk slowly, to slow everything down. When you get nervous, this also a seven iron. Really high, good looking shot, drawing towards the hole. A beauty. Really good golf swing there. It's always a relief when you see them disappear. Things <laughs> can get back to normal. Yeah, they don't actually tell you that you're not no longer on the clock, but when they're when you don't notice their presence, it's a good sign. Decent looking stroke there. Good four. Took one of her old uh, teammates, Marissa Ma, who's a very good player, and uh, they used to be roommates. Knows her game very well. She said that uh, you know Lauren's been working really hard. Now Lauren Kim. This is going to be a smooth A time. Tough hole location tucked on that left side, but she's making this look easy. What a shot. Look at this. Yeah, it's not even close, even though it is on an upslope. I think players, when they're close to the, the flag, do like an upslope to use. Good shot. Okay. No damage, but a, an opportunity missed there for Lauren Kim. Sometimes you just don't see the results as quickly, and to keep trusting it and keep moving forward is all credit to her. Absolutely. You can feel like you're beating your head against the wall at some point, just waiting for the results to come. I mean, really, this would be, again, no world par from that bunker. Just not easy up and down, but... I think you know that when you're standing in the fairway, but that's just not the place to miss. Well, she's withstood a double bogey at the 10th. I think we've heard Inby Park talk about how she much prefers playing in the cooler weather temperatures here than she does in the heat. But for me and Danielle growing up in a lot warmer weather, I, I definitely prefer the heat. Blocking our view, but it's a pretty good. Yeah, Leona jumped in there to to take a look at the line. Don't often see that in uh, such dramatic fashion. I know. Well, I think she's just got to keep her eye on the prize. Just keep playing her game. Not trying. Not think about the potential of what may happen, what could happen. And that's just down the left side. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she's played really well today. She's had been thrown a couple curveballs, but settled herself back in. Just going to be really precise. That's a 54. Yeah. That was pretty precise there, Karen. If you take that. Look at that. 
she overcomes a double bogey.